Hello everybody, it's me, Jessie with Pampered Chef, bringing you all things fun and foodie from right here in my kitchen. It's Wednesday, and it's a special Wednesday. It's whipping it up on Wednesday. So tonight, we are using what you voted for in some recipes, and I'm gonna add some extra details of how you can use these common ingredients up in your house too. So what are we making? Well, you voted for, it was a Thai, chicken and pesto sauce. So I combed through my refrigerator and freezer and decided that I'm going to make some chicken paninis with pesto sauce and fresh mozzarella cheese and some tomato because I have this tomato that really needs to be used up. We're also gonna make some tomato soup in the microwave and a salad with some green goddess dressing. So let's get started. For our sandwiches, I have out the griddle and grill, which is one of my favorite appliances, especially for making sandwiches. Now, if you haven't seen this before, it can open up halfway or you can use it like a griddle for your pancakes in the morning if you're cooking or doing like we like to do homemade hibachi or fajitas on here so it can open all the way up and you can do two different temperatures on the top so you can have like a cooking side and a warming side we tend to do like a shrimp side and a steak side um it's great you could do eggs and pancakes on one hash browns on the other there's grill pans and it's also got waffle plates that you can put in here so this thing is fantastic and it shuts like this and you can lift it up and put the side down, the top down. I don't know if you can see that. So it presses your sandwiches like a panini press or if you wanted to cook a pizza in here, you could do the crust on one end and then hover this over the top to melt the cheese, which also works great if you're doing a hamburger. Um, because it cooks from the top and the bottom at the same time, it's super, super fast. And the plates are super easy to clean and use. They just pop in and out like this and they go in the dishwasher. But honestly, they're really fast to clean, so I'll probably just run them under the water and throw them up here on the counter to air dry. Um, so fast, so easy. There is a temperature, um, temp, I was gonna say temperature gauge, a thermometer. <laughs> a thermometer in here if you wanted to cook like steaks, you can set them to the correct temperature that you wanted to do and um, it will shut off automatically when it reaches that temperature. Um, you have a sear mode, a grill mode, a panini mode that we're gonna to use tonight and a keep warm mode. And then if you need like a little extra time on your, like say your sandwich tonight, maybe your cheese isn't all the way melty when it's done in um, the two minutes that's on the panini mode, two minutes and 30 seconds, you can just add 30 seconds until it's ready to go. So we're going to turn this on, or I'm going to turn this on tonight, and I'm setting it to the panini mode, which is 375 degrees, and I'm just gonna hit this button for two minutes and 30 seconds while we prep everything else. So let me move you back here with my very broken tripod and try not to make you sick or knock the tripod over. I did order a new tripod, but I hate it, so I'm using my broken one still. <laughs> so. While this heats up, which should take about five minutes, we're going to make some soup because I discovered I have a container of some marinara sauce. Actually, this is just tomato sauce in the refrigerator from a recipe last week for something. And I have no idea what I made with it, but I should probably use it up. So this is my super fast tomato sauce. It's so, so easy. Um, I'm using, like I said, can of tomato sauce, but you could use pasta sauce. Like I've literally done this with a jar of marinara or spaghetti sauce. Because it's just plain tomato, I'm adding about a tablespoon of Italian seasoning and some Italian, I mean, garlic and herb rub. I'm doing about a half a tablespoon. Um, if you were using a sauce that's already got seasoning in it, you don't need to add anything. Now you get to choose broth, veggie broth, chicken broth, water, totally works, or milk. I'm going with some water and milk tonight. I'm gonna to do a half and half because we don't have a ton of milk and I don't feel like going to the store. So the ratio is equal parts tomato, equal parts liquid, and you get a perfect soup every single time. So since I was doing about a cup of tomato sauce, I am doing about a cup of milk and water. So I'm just gonna give that a quick stir and I'm popping this in the microwave because I didn't feel like getting out a pan tonight. Um, our allergies are bothering us and we're tired and we're on spring break and I wanted to keep this so easy. So, micro cooker for the win. 
pop the lid on, and this is going in the microwave. We're gonna do it for like three minutes. Now, while that's cooking, let's get our sandwiches prepped. I shall move all of my dishes out of the way. Let's get to our ingredient that we needed to use up, pesto. I don't know about you guys, but I always, always, always have a jar of pesto in the fridge. This stuff is a must have for super fast dinners. It's great to make a quick pasta. It's wonderful on eggs. It can go on any sandwich. It's just a very handy, delicious thing. So tonight I am using this on our sandwiches and I'm just gonna spread some on the top and the bottom of this bread. You did notice that, you probably noticed, I cut this bread in half because this bread is huge. It is the tomato bread from Panera. I got a loaf for free a couple of weeks ago, very luckily, and I popped it in the freezer after I sliced it, and it makes such good tomato paninis. It's so good with grilled cheese and tomato soup, so I just thought this would be excellent for this tonight. But it's huge, so I'm cutting it in half so we don't have monster sandwiches. <laughs> All right, so pesto sauce on the sandwiches tomato. I'm going to thinly slice that up. This tomato has seen much better days. So I was debating between my favorite easy margarita pizza, which I will show you guys sometime with some like, you know, pop top pizza crust pesto and some tomatoes. So easy, so good. Um, and another way to use up that pesto. But since I had the bread and only one tomato, I went with this. All right, we need cheese. Costco has fresh mozzarella already sliced for the win. So I'm thinking four pieces per sandwich because I mean, why not, right? Sounds delicious. Fresh mozzarella is always so good and it gets so melty and yummy. Now, Mr. Teachers is going to have the chicken. You could totally have put the chicken in the soup. We could totally put our chicken on our salad but I'm gonna put some chicken in his sandwich. Cooked chicken is something that you should probably always have on hand for quick meals. You can stretch a little bit of chicken so far by tossing it into pasta, a quesadilla, a sandwich, putting it on a pizza. Like sometimes one chicken breast can feed us like three meals, four meals, especially because I really don't eat a lot of meat. So save money and mix it with some carbs. <laughs> so this is just some chicken thighs that I had left over. Oh, that's our beeping for um, the panini grill. It's ready, our, I mean our griddle and grill. All right, so we put chicken on his and we're gonna divide these tomatoes up half and half like that. This is so easy. Put the lid back on, put the lid back on. And now, move this over a little bit. This is all hot and ready to go. So that didn't even take three minutes. So we're going to put this in here. No oil, no butter. Pop it in. Might have to push that down and give it a little press. We're gonna let that cook, ready to go. Just click the add button and we're all set. Let me rinse this off really quickly. And we're going to get started on our salad. So, I don't know if you watched a couple of days ago, I feel like it was longer than that, um, but I made some homemade green goddess dressing. Now this is a different batch, but it's really easy to whip up. It's half of an avocado, our brand new green goddess seasoning, a little milk, a little vinegar, a little oil, and it's so good. Um, oh, and sour cream or yogurt. You get to decide. Um, I think I went with sour cream this time because I was out of it. But Panera has this salad that is so good with Green Goddess. So I'm kind of making a little version of that tonight using arugula. They use a mixed um, green. 
but I have arugula and this is pre-washed and it's organic, so I'm not really gonna worry about it. We're keeping it simple tonight. <laughs> and I'm gonna drizzle it with a little bit of the Green Goddess dressing, just a little. This stuff is so herbaceous and it will go great with the pesto and the tomato soup. It's got lots of basil in it too and dill and parsley, it's so good. All right, with our arugula and our drizzle of our Green Goddess dressing, we're gonna use a little avocado because the Panera salad has avocado in it and I love it. And the dressing has avocado in it too. This is the avocado tool. It is a great way to cut up your avocado quickly and easily, but you don't have to be scared that you're gonna, you know, slice your vein open. I think I'm gonna just use half of an avocado in each of our salads tonight. Maybe I'll put the other half in the fridge to have with eggs and pesto sauce in the morning. Because I feel like our dinner's getting larger and larger by the minute. All right, so we have avocado now in our salad. And then the thing that Panera does with it that is like the topper is they use pickled red onions. Now, I made these the other day in the group just specifically for this salad. This um, is so good. These are onions that I sliced on the mandolin, really thin. And then in the microwave, I heated up a half a cup of water and a half a cup of vinegar, I think it is. And then a little bit of sugar and our dill rub. And then I put the onions inside it and I let them sit. Now, these onions are magnificent on this salad. They're great on tacos. They're great on burgers. They're great just to go in the fridge and eat. Like, so good. Um, this pickling liquid is actually really good with radishes with jalapenos, with carrots, like any vegetables. You can totally pickle just about anything, and I do. All right, our sandwiches are done. Did you hear the beep? Can you see them? They're all done. Isn't that fast? Look at that toasty bread. Look at that melty cheese. I forgot to get out of the spatula. Look at that perfection, perfection and they come right off and nothing sticks to this. This is like the best thing ever. So I'm just gonna shut it, I'm gonna unplug it, and then after dinner, I'm just gonna quickly rinse it off. Um, I see a question. Yes, you could put butter, but I didn't. <laughs> Why? I didn't wanna use the extra fat, but you could totally use butter on there. I do it for hash browns, um, but I just didn't tonight. All right, now, I am going to put on these salads, a little bit of bacon for Mr. Teacher. I should have marked which one was his. This one's chicken because the Panera salad has bacon and chicken, but I don't want to, I don't want chicken. I don't feel like eating meat tonight. All right, and then there we go, right? Now let's look at our soup. This is like the easiest meal ever, like 10 minutes, so, so fast. And of course you could, double this, triple this for your whole family. Use the larger micro cooker, but it's just the two of us. So it's not a lot of us here. All right. Now, where did my spoon go? Perfect herbaceous tomato soup, which I think I might put a little drizzle of pesto over the top since that was our ingredient for tonight. Pour that out, just a little soup to go with our sandwiches, and then this can go right in the dish. Easy peasy. All right, spoon for the pesto, just to add a little something, something to the top. Pesto is great in soup. It's great on top of like minestrone, really adds just a little something special. And we're done, like that's dinner. Soup, sandwich, salad, so fast. And we used everything up that we needed to in our refrigerator. After dinner is over, I will post some ideas for using up the pesto and chicken in your refrigerator underneath this video. If you have any questions whatsoever that I have missed, please feel free to reach out. Um, if you have any questions, same thing. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to put hashtag replay and leave me a comment below. 
Thanks so much. Bye.